Bones of Human Skull The human skull is the bony structure that forms the head in the human skeleton. The skull is composed of two sets of bones. They are cranial bones and facial bones. The skull is made up of 22 bones and 7 associated bones. Cranial bones are 8 in number. They form hard protective outer covering called cranium for the brain. Frontal bone. It is the bony part of the forehead. It is also a part of the eye cavity and part of the nose as well. Occipital bone. It is the main bone of the back and lower part of the skull. It is a flat bone. Parietal bones. There are two parietal bones in the human skull, which are joined at a fibrous joint. They are located at the sides and roof of the cranium. Spinoid bone Spinoid bone is located under the frontal bone, behind the eye cavities and the nose. It looks like a butterfly or bat with wings extended. Temporal bones There are two temporal bones situated at the sides and base of the skull. They house the structure of the ears. Ethmoid bone It is an unpaired bone in the skull that separates the nasal cavity from the brain. It is located at the roof of the nose between the two eye cavities. Foramen magnum It is a large vowel opening in the occipital bone of the skull. The spinal cord, an extension of the medulla oblongata, passes through this hole as it exits the cranial cavity. Facial bones The facial region is made up of 14 skeletal elements which form the front part of the skull. Mandible the lower jaw or jawbone. It forms the lower jaw and holds the lower teeth in place. The mandible sits beneath the maxilla. It is the movable bone of the skull. Maxilla Two maxilla bones located near the nasal bones forming the top area of the jaw. They are the two upper fixed bones of the jaw. Nasal bones There are two nasal bones which acts as the bridge of the nose. They are the bones of the upper part of the nose. Gigomatic bones Gigomatic bones are two cheek bones. They are irregular bones which forms the shape of the cheek. Lacrimal bones There are two lacrimal bones in the human skull. They are the lower bones in the nasal cavity. They help in lacrimation or crying. Palatine bones There are two irregular palatine bones in the roof of the mouth. They are situated at the back of the nasal cavity. Omer. Omer divides the nasal cavity. It is situated at lower part of the nasal septum. Inferior nasal concha. Inferior nasal concha are two lower bones in the nasal cavity. They provide rapid warming and humidification of air as it passes to the lungs. Paranasal sinuses. Paranasal sinuses are a group of four paid air-filled spaces that surrounds 
the nasal cavity. They also help in increasing the voice quality, especially when you sing or hum. Every bone is connected to another bone with one exception. Did you know what is the only bone in the human body that is not connected to another bone? A single U-shaped bone called hyoid is placed at the base of the buccal cavity and it is also included in the skull and it is responsible for holding your tongue in place. Hyoid is the only bone in the human body that is not connected to another bone. Did you know what is the smallest bone in the human body? Each middle ear contains three tiny bones. They are malleus, incus, and stapes. They are collectively called as ear ossicles. The stapes, which is present in the middle ear, is the smallest and lightest bone of the human skeleton. This bone is also called as the stirrup because of its Y shape. Most of the bones of the skull are joined together by immovable joints. The skull supports the structures of face and forms a cavity for the brain. It protects the brain from injury. Cranial Sutures a suture is a type of fibrous joint that is only found in the skull. They are called as cranial sutures. Coronal suture. It connects the frontal bones with two parietal bones. The coronal suture is a dense fibrous connective tissue joint that separates the two parietal bones from the frontal bone of the skull. Lambdoid suture. It connects two parietal bones with the occipital bone. It is named as lambdoid suture as it has uppercase lambda like shape. Occipitomastoid suture. It connects the occipital and temporal bones and continues with the lambdoid suture. Spinofrontal suture. It is the cranial suture between the sphenoid bone and the frontal bone. Spinoparietal suture It is the cranial suture between the sphenoid bone and the parietal bone. Spinosquamosal suture It is the cranial suture between the sphenoid bone and the squamor of the temporal bone. Spinogygomatic suture it is the cranial suture between the spinoid bone and the zygomatic bone. Here, spinoid bone is highlighted in orange color and zygomatic bone is highlighted in green. Squamosal suture It is the cranial suture between the parietal and the squamor of the temporal bone. Zygomatico temporal suture it is the cranial suture between the zygomatic bone and the temporal bone. Zygomatico frontal suture. It is the cranial suture between the zygomatic bone and the frontal bone. The suture can be palpated just lateral to the eye. If you like our videos, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get regular updates. Thank you very much.